Welcome on Travels Code channel. In this video, I will show you a few different techniques how we can improve React performance. So we have a simple React application with nothing and let's start from the beginning, from the problem. Let's create a simple application with a button and, and clicker. What do we need? We will use hooks it will be use state from react and uh, we won't create application a button and the clicker so first of all let's create state we will create state and and uh, we will have a button where on click we will call set n and we will increase n by 1. Easy. Okay, let's click me. And what we need, we need to output this n. So let's And times so looks pretty simple let's take a look what we have it works let's open dev tools and uh, we will go to profiler react profiler and um, we can record what we're doing let's click a few times and as you see we have application and in application we have rendering of these components how many times it was rendered it's okay so task is simple the next we want to do it a bit more complex for example we will have a list list with numbers we want to show some super heavy complex difficult list okay uh, let's create first of all list for example, new it will be array of twenty items. Let's fill with zeros and then let's go map. We will create some item math random. We would fill this list with random numbers and. Uh, the next we need a component to output this list let's create component Don't forget to add the key. It's one of the very important performance technique, performance improvement. And uh, and let's output this list. We have list. We will pass as a props list we created okay so don't forget it's a props okay and as you see we have a list of items and we have our clicker When we click, everything works fine, as we guess. 
but let's add recording and um, when we call click what do we have as you see we have application and we have list list was rendered why it was rendered because of parent component rendered as you see we have up component and we have clicker when we change state for this component the whole component the whole up component will be rendered and the list will be rendered every time but we don't need it we don't change anything in this list so how we can fix the problem the first idea what you can imagine let's use memo for example memo memo is a higher order component and let's wrap everything with memo memo okay let's let's try to record click and what we have we have memo component did not rendered it looks like we improved performance we don't render component when we don't need it okay it was simple but we have the next requirement we need to add a filter filter to this list okay let's create a filter the same use state will be empty string and uh, let's add um, input type uh, text on change we will call function which will set filter event target value let's grab a value of this input and uh, don't forget placeholder let's add the filter okay we have filter the next what we need we need the pass filtered items to the list let's use filter filter item item includes filter something simple and now we are passing to list these filtered items so let's try how it works uh, we have items and uh, now let's try to use some filter and as you see everything works great it works but now we need to check our performance let's record click 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 and what we have with memo why did this render props changed as you see this component list component was rendered why because of list was changed it was changed due to application was rendered and uh, we generated a new filtered elements why this was generated and why it doesn't work for memo as you understand we do not change this filter but we passing a list react under the hood it not react javascript even it use in react we are using shallow equal shallow equal to check props by default in the, in javascript objects and arrays are passed by a reference and um, react when checking props it uses is function let's go to is is and as you see is is just checking props 
and we have different references to the same item, to the same list. How we can fix the problem? The first idea what you can get, let's use, use uh, use memo use memo it will return uh, it will return the same reference okay use memo the same and we have array of array of dependencies and the uh, dependency will be filter and uh, list but even not list list we are passing from outside of the scope of component so we can skip list okay let's try let's again run record click 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 okay it looks like we solved the problem. Let's try with uh, filtering. It works. Uh, okay. As you see, to fix the problem, we used memo and used use memo hook hook and the memo hook. But as a real great React developer, you need to try avoid such things. How we can avoid them? The easiest part is uh, splitting logic to different components. So if we have list, let's create a list. If we have clicker section, let's create a click component. Okay, what do we need? Let's create a clicker component. And uh, let's remove this section to clicker and uh, list list. Uh, let's move filter Okay, what do we need? We need the uh, const uh, filter and the uh, fil filtering part. Let's remove everything from here to list. And from clicker, and set n. Okay, in list we have filtered items. Let's use it here. Okay, next one. In the application component, we will have list where we're passing list. And we will have clicker and that's it. Okay, the next, so as you see, we, ha we have clicker, the component is responsible for clicking with n, set n, and that's it. The next one, we have list, in list we don't need memo anymore, let's remove it. And uh, we have filter with uh, use memo, as we don't pass these items to the children components, we can remove use mem as well and uh, remove from dependencies okay and as you see we have the same component and how it works it works 
Now let's check performance. Let's click recording. Click, click, click. And uh, as you see, we have our application. It wasn't rendered. We have list. It wasn't rendered as well. And we have clicker. Only clicker was rendered when we use clicks. The next part, let's record again and try to filter something. And as you see, list was rendered because of hooks changed, but clicker it wasn't rendered. So as you see, we improved performance of our application by removing use memo and memo components, memo hook and the use memo hook. And we have simple components. Okay. It works much, much better. But you can say what to do in case if we need the data from clicker component, for example, and we want to know how many times something happened and use this data for list. We need to connect somehow these components. To solve this problem, we can use another super important techniques it's it's calling uh, children <laughs> children uh, as you know react do not render render children components because of it by default it wasn't changing it was changed it's not changing how it works uh, we have our clicker and for example let's add the um, data count and to show this clicker and inside they we will show we will pass children children as a props and now everything what we will pass to children it won't be rendered when parent will be changed and re-rendered and now we have our clicker we can pass list as a clicker so we have a clicker we have children we pass in these children and we have click now now our list component it will be wrapped by clicker and uh, for example we will have some data from clicker for example count of n let's open body root application as you see we have counter and inside we have list let's click counter as you see counter is increasing we have list list is filtering everything works what as we expected now let's go to profiler let's try to record what we have start profiling let's click a few times stop and the same as you see clicker it was rendered because of hooks were changed set stay set and was called but list inside it wasn't called as you see these techniques works super useful okay that's it from my side that's what i wanted to show you two super useful techniques how you can improve your react application improve by decreasing of useless renders you remove renders component components work works faster all this code you will find in my github repository link will be under the video in the description so thank you for watching subscribe to Subscribe to my YouTube channel and soon you will see much more great useful tutorials of React performance improvement.